Good morning, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall says 8.45 on Tuesday morning. I'm in the heart of Herden Choker land. I'm in Kelly's Coffee Shop in Mount Bellew, Cundinagalipa. Spent the night here last night in the town. was in uh, Henry's Bar. Um, got a nice surprise when I went in. There's a pint left in the barrel for me from uh, John Higgins, or better known in the locality as John Francis Higgins. Uh, three pints there, and then I went to Burke's uh, pub. Um, I was in it a couple of times before. Uh, the home of Bobby Joe that won the Grand National years ago. Uh, nice tribute to him with photographs and uh, up on the wall or whatever. I think it was closed for over a year. It's under, uh, it's uh, been leased out at the present. Um, good chat there, um, good character in a fellow John Mullins, um, with a few pints, more than more than I bargained for. So a bit late out of the traps this morning, so the breakfast will be in a few minutes now. I'm just having a cup of tea as it is. Got out of Dodge yesterday, about, must be 11. Had a, an hour in the bed after doing the video. Fed the ducks out of Ross Castle and headed nice and slowly um, up the country. Um, had the dinner in the Westwood Ho, one of my favourite eating places. The roast beef there is to die for. And then the uh, dessert. And lo and behold, the apple pie, apple crumble, uh, ice cream cream, fresh cream with it, and a small little tub of custard. I think Henry Shefflin could uh, maybe put that on the menu for the hurler. Seems to be doing the trick for the Limerick men down there, plenty of custard on. I reckon uh, they, they love it after their training session. So Henry, I'm sure you're watching him. Get the custard, get the pan or the pot on and make plenty of thick custard for them, for the heart and chokers. Um, I got a grand surprise when I pulled up outside of uh, the Westwood Ho, actually. I was checking to put on a bet in the 5.30. And I seen there was a nice bit of change in my account that wasn't there earlier. Uh, and I couldn't understand why. And I was saying, did I back something unknown to myself? Am I losing the plot? And then I checked the results again. And I seen the gatekeeper got it in the steward's room. I didn't expect that, to be honest. I, I knew there was a bit of bumping, but I didn't. I thought the, the one the other day that we lost out, um, the horse that got blocked on the rail. I thought we'd definitely get that in the shoes room, and we didn't. But to the grand surprise, because I had a double with Ramad at even money, and him at three to one. And had another small double, um, five to six, and five to two. And uh, two up in a Trixie. Um, nice single bet on him so it was grand uh, i actually thought coming up the stretch run yesterday that ross and ryan would uh, outride the uh, five pound claimer but because uh, he was only going hands and heels i don't know if he had any trigger from at all uh, royal symbol uh going handy in uh, the other race and then we're desperate and unfortunate not to hit the, the hat trick uh, with universally uh, when I was watching him uh, and I said will he go left or will he go right he wasn't bothered if he probably had went to his left as our right if we looked at it he might have um, got there a bit quicker but he was flying at the death two more strides and we were up because uh, 30 to 2 the night before is a grand prize but, but then a meatloaf meatloaf on a Monday is not bad I suppose so anyway I found it difficult enough to get stuff for today uh, there's a lot of reasons, but there's com competition in a lot of them. I have a lot of hard. I, I, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But there's competition in most of them. So we settled on a couple of, and a couple of reverse forecasts as a safety net. The Don Patrick there in the 350s. The horse tipped up the last day, but he didn't run. Uh, the Grey Monte for uh, John McConnell. John isn't exactly flying on all cylinders just yet, uh, 2 out of 30 in the last 14 days. But this is course and distance for him. Uh, it ran well enough the last time. This is it taking the lead, but the horse that beat it has won again since. 
Harvey and John McConnell trying to forge on now, trying to come at them as the one we dream of, and Fruit Blossom is boxing away behind them too, not out of it, as they turn towards home. One flight left to jump, and the Grey Monty is going to rise in front from a staying on Fruit Blossom in second. Back in third now is Lighthouse Rose. They turn to face the climb, and out front it is the Grey Monty, but Fruit Blossom is staying on strongly all the time as they face the climb at a further less than a further to race. Far side, the Grey Monty, near side, Danny Gilligan on Fruit Blossom is gaily getting on the upper hand now, and it's the race inside the closing stages. It's going to be Fruit Blossom is pushed away. The Grey Monty comes back for another lunge. Fruit Blossom for a Danny Gilligan double and a goal. Fruit Blossom has won again since. Uh, I'll see how it prices it. Oh, Heard and Chalkers are making tea with a hammer here. Grey Monty, 3 to 1 on that. Um, on to. There's an interesting race in Epsom today. It's normally a race I don't touch the Amateurs Derby, but there's two sent over from Ireland by two shrewd operators. John Kiley has liberated light and Tony Martin has uh, Belgo Prince. We backed that Belgo Prince and tipped up in Galway a couple of times but didn't run. But it, they have um, collateral forum there uh, when Belgo Prince actually won. Oh, what happened there? And still on to uh, the two of them ran against each other and uh, I don't think Liberated Light was off the air that day. Um, Liberated Light has still has won a maiden since the threshold that they sent him over and uh, John Gleason rides in. Uh, I think it's between the two of them, but Liberated Light might have more toe. And then something similar in the 410, where the three year old Katab is the highest rated in the field, gets a six pound weight for age allowance. Uh, no internet. I hope it's still recording. Katab won very well the last day at Haydog. I think it's between him and Isla Kai. Uh, Katab will be hard beaten at Hulls. Uh, reverse fork is Isla Kai. I don't know what's up with this. It shows no internet, but yet it's supposed to be recording. I don't know what's the store now. So, I'll get out of Dodge and hopefully it's recording and then I'll be able to put it into the oven. So heading back to Scammon for half an hour and heading for Akal or Belmullet or over that direction is uh, Damien Kelly still on the bus. If he is, leave a message. Bash the book is over and out.